Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Now, today's video, we are back out here. This is episode number two. We're managing the drag strip today, and we hope that last video worked out pretty well. Right now, the video is sitting around 220 likes, 200 likes of filming time. We're out here at the shed, and it is just chilling in here with the two mowers in front of it, and this is just all caked up full of mud, but uh, we're going to go ahead and give it a fire up. And So we got it fired up. Uh, it took took a second because it hasn't been started in a week, and it is about 22 years old. But uh, I say we go ahead and take a quick ride out to the back, and I'll make it a quick one for you guys, so it's nice and easy. So. Well, here it is, in all of its glory, sopping wet drag strip, it is just, oh man, I am just sinking walking through here, but we got boots on, so here it is, this is the same, same spot you guys saw in the last video, yeah, it definitely sunk a lot, but other than that, I think it is... I think it is well rounded up. It has definitely, definitely changed since last week. And our grass is beginning to grow back here. There's regular crabgrass and crabgrass clover and some just grass. Here's the bump that we smoothened out. We didn't do a pass on it since we smoothened it out, but here it is. Oh man, it's sunk in this right lane pretty bad. But that is the point of these mud drag strips. You get your burnout going, and you come in here, and this is about your your launch area. You want it to be like about here, because you want to tear up the the first little like 10 feet, 20 feet. Uh, you get over this hump here, about 15 feet in, and then your speed will use to carry you through these trenches here, and it'll just be slinging mud a good 60, 70 feet in the sky. But turkey season started the other day. On the other hand. And I am looking forward to getting out one of these days and recording because this will actually be my first year doing turkey, but I have done a lot of deer and I have studied a lot of that and I've heard it's pretty similar except the turkey have like easier sensibilities and stuff, but I have seen people do turkey hunting and it looks pretty interesting. But today it is a very clear sky day as you guys can see, the sun is out, it is... 5.57 p.m., 6 p.m., uh, Friday night, and it is a good 55, 54 degrees out. I'm in a t-shirt and shorts and boots, but that is just well-rounded weather to want to come out here and enjoy the wilderness. Look at this trail here. This is just a nice sight here. You got the evergreens, and you got the trail going over through. It's just awesome, but that whole pathway should eventually look like this. It should round up to be this. It's a little deep, but at the same time, it's perfect. Oh, yeah, that's what you want to see as a hunter. Those are brand spanking new. A deer walked through here probably, and, and they started leaving as they hear the four-wheeler pull up because this thing is pretty loud, so I wouldn't doubt it. We'll hop on here to our, our startup process. Should should go pretty easy now. Straight like that, nice and easy. And we're gonna take you guys over to the tree stand and we'll give you guys a view of the place, I guess, because why not? I'm actually gonna drive down the strip first. You just sink right in. That is 
very, very sloppy. But it does clear up around here towards the end. Debating whether or not we need to do another pass with the lawnmower. It looks, it looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, it does look pretty good. Got this grass. There's only some tall spots, but that's me standing there. It's not even getting past the bottom of my shoe, and you can clearly see there's a spot about like right here. It runs all the way through here, and yeah. So our tree stand location is in the, the biggest tree on the left here. I shot one deer all the way across this field to that back corner, 110 yards away through the head. Uh, that was just a far poke for me. I did. I thought it was going to be like a 60 yard shot because our guns are sighted into 50, but that was fun. One of the shots and another one I got walking in over here and shot it in that corner over there somewhere, but it was a good season. So let's, uh, we'll take a ride around real quick. Now it is a little chilly. Like I said, it's like only... 54, 55 degrees out here. And it is running up down here from the return lane. All right, so we'll drive through uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say the sloppiest part on the property, the spot with the most water, uh, definitely holds like crazy. But also the spot where the deer like to hang out the most. Just because of the high amount of water and vegetation that can grow around it, I'm supposing. And it's a nice tucked away spot back here in these trees. I, th I think it would be a pretty good deer spot. And they always like to come and hang down around here late at night. But it is some... Um, deep water here we got maybe half a foot of water throw it in four so we're not slinging and I'm actually putting my face next to the microphone so I hope you guys can hear me pretty good I'm gonna say somebody came through here and cleared it up a little bit because it is a little matted down over here but this could be anything there's a nice little kick up here seeing a deer on the tracks. Got the train tracks now. I'm not seeing anything. But this is our view of the tracks. It stretches out very far. And it is a nice ride. I haven't driven all the way down yet. But I do plan to, so I will record for that. So here's the tree stand, and now I'm in here 24-7 through the hunting season. Keep in mind, we are up in the eastern, northern coast, so... had this cut out as a trail when we first owned the place but 
our property here kind of falls off from the top and goes down over towards here and it falls down into that back a lot from this field it's just a big water collector because we're on the south side of everything and uh, we definitely get the most of the water on our street and this is a long highway road but our trail comes down the side here and it gets really really thick and deep right here we got maybe a foot deep trench just enough for the tires to touch the ground and uh, my dad was driving through here on one of the four wheelers and he got himself stuck um, yeah he got himself stuck and he had to get pulled out with the winch so he had to tie himself up on a tree and pull himself out drag strip is looking very mushy here we'll do a full pass real quick since we did a left lane we'll do uh we'll do the right lane out but it is looking extra extra sloppy so we're, we're gonna be uh we're gonna be a little easy on the throttle because i'm gonna extend this video into tomorrow possibly because i will be here tomorrow morning uh which is saturday but you guys will see this on sunday monday around that area but we're in the water now, we're in our box, so let's get a one wheel going. Oh yeah, that was a good one. All right, we love a pretty deep mark, so uh, let's do this. So at one point I looked behind me and we were shooting mud straight backwards, but my leg got the brute force of it, so I'm gonna get back and clean that off. So we'll be right back, guys. We're not strong with getting the mail, guys. We're at the end of the driveway and we gotta sit on the mail. So I got gloves on now because it is a little brisk out, but we'll take another ride. I did put the camera down and I did end up tearing it up a little bit, but I did wipe my legs off, so <laughs> that's better now. But I think um, I think that'll do it for this episode right now uh, because we really got nothing else to do. But tomorrow we have the lawnmowers ready and we're gonna go ahead and cut some grass. Shit. We're just cutting grass.
Yeah, this will come back here, do a couple passes down the strip, and flatten it out, level it out, bring the roller maybe, and we'll get it ready for race day. But other than that, thanks for tuning in. Episode 2. We'll see you in episode 3 tomorrow. Peace out, guys.